everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I'm really excited to bring you some fall decor, um, mostly pumpkins, and I'm also really excited because I got a new camera. Actually, Zach got me a new camera. Um, I was not expecting it at all, but I was really excited to try it out. So bear with me because this is my first time ever using a camera. I've been using a phone this entire time to film, and I had to learn a whole new editing software and everything. Um, and it has taken a lot of trial and error, but I'm really excited to get this video up, so I hope you guys really like it. I think all of the decor and everything that I did in this video turned out really cute, so I think you're going to love it. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you stick around, and if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. I really appreciate you guys, and let's just jump into these DIYs. So for the first ones, I'm starting out with some scrap wood that my dad gave me. He saves me all kinds of scrap wood from his work, which is really awesome because I get to make some really cool things with it. But if you guys don't have access to scrap wood like this, I would definitely check out Home Depot. They have a lot of really good scrap wood that you can get at like 75% off and for wood that's really really cheap. A lot of times I walk out of there with a lot of pieces for just a couple dollars. It ends up being cheaper than Dollar Tree for how many projects you can make out of it and they'll even cut it down for you and everything for free. So um, everybody loves a good Dollar Tree DIY, don't get me wrong, but I really love being able to have really nice quality projects for really cheap. Um, usually the wood is either a little damaged um, or maybe it just doesn't look as nice as some of the other pieces. To me that's no big deal and I actually prefer it most of the time because I'm making rustic decor so it works out and it's really inexpensive. So for these pumpkins, I'm just using some white Waverly chalk paint and then also the color pumpkin, which is a really beautiful orange. I absolutely love that color. Um, and I am also going to use some Maui sand color. I think that one is in the folk art Waverly, not Waverly, <laughs> folk art home decor chalk paint. Um, and that's just one that I had on hand. I don't really like one over the other or I can't tell the difference anyway. So it just depends on what store I'm at when I'm running out of paint. So that's what I had on hand and that's what I used to distress. Um, so I just used some painter's tape to make the stripes on the bigger one. And then on the smaller ones, I'm going to do polka dots. And I actually saw Anna Bradley DIY do this. If you guys have not um, seen her channel yet or subscribed to her, make sure to go check her out after this video. I'll leave her channel link down in my description. She is really awesome. She just started her channel not that long ago, but she's been doing DIYs for a really long time. And they're really amazing. Um, so she did something similar to these but with black and white and I've seen these all over Pinterest like in these colors that I'm doing here which I really like but I think hers were really pretty with the black and white and I wasn't sure how I was going to do my polka dots at first. I thought about using um, like a Cricut um, design to make the circles and then I also thought you could use stickers and paint over them and then take them off. Um, but I decided to go watch her video just real quick and see how she did it and I'm so glad I did because she just used a round stencil brush like the foam brushes and um, just put the dots on that way. Genius you guys that was it was so like so so quick and easy and I'm just so glad that I went and watched it. She has really great ideas so make sure you do go check her out.
So for the distressing part, I was actually going to use a brown color, but I could not find it for the life of me. Maybe I ran out. I don't remember running out, um, but maybe I'm just completely disorganized. <laughs> um, but I just decided to use this gray instead, and that's the Maui sand color that I was talking about. And I'm actually really glad that I decided to use this color because I think these turned out so pretty. And I think it was just the perfect color to accent these. Um, just one tip that I would have for you is to make sure you're using a really dry brush. If you put too much, it's going to be hard. I mean, you could use some sandpaper or something to tone that down a little bit if you do get too much on there but I had red paint underneath of these because this was from an old project that I did and I just repurposed them so if I sanded those the red would probably show through a little bit and that's not the kind of vibe I was going for with these pumpkins so I just made sure that I had a really dry brush so I didn't get too much um, paint on there at once and then I just kept building and building until I was happy with the result that I had. Now for the stems for these pumpkins, I actually had a dowel rod on hand and I just cut that down with my saw. Um, you could use sticks or anything that you find in your yard. We live in small apartments and they do our yard work for us so we don't really have any sticks out in the grass. I went out and looked and I couldn't find any. I would have had to like rip a whole branch off a tree and I was not going to do that. So I just went ahead and stained some little pieces of a dowel rod and I think they're still really cute for the stems of the pumpkins and I just had some little leaves on hand from greenery and flowers and stuff that I had in the past just pulled it off of there and stuck those on there and I think they turned out really cute by far my favorite project for this video um, but I think the other ones came out cute too so keep watching if you want to see how I did those but so for this next one I decided to do a fabric pumpkin and I think this might be the first fabric pumpkin I've done but I just had this fabric on hand from Walmart from a long time ago it's really it was really inexpensive I wouldn't be able to tell you the exact name or anything of the fabric itself because I got it so long ago I have no idea what it is um, but it's it has a look kind of of that canvas type material but it's a lot thinner it was only a dollar something per yard i'm sure they have several different ones that you could choose from um, but i really like this one and i just cut a big circle out um, i would suggest doing a pretty big circle i don't have measurements because i just eyeballed it but you can kind of go off of like um my cross-legged <laughs> legs I guess you can kind of see how big it is compared to me um, I would go a little bit bigger than that because with this pumpkin that I'm doing here I barely had enough fabric to cover the whole thing so I definitely should have done a little bit bigger but I'm just using some stuffing from an old pillow that we had on hand I've been using this pillow stuffing for like several years now I don't make a ton of projects with stuffing in them but I've done several over the past few years and I still have a lot left in there it's kind of matted down but it's no big deal I just rip it apart to make it fluff back up and so I just um, 
I kept adding more until I was happy with the size of my pumpkin. I started out with a toilet paper roll in the middle and I realized when I started to poke my fabric down inside that it was just way too tall so I did go ahead and cut that down in half and then I just kept adding more and more stuffing until I felt like I liked the shape of my pumpkin. Now this is where I'm saying that I didn't totally have enough fabric to poke all the way down into the hole. Um, so that was a little bit of a struggle with the hot glue and I burned myself and everything. So just be careful. Um, make sure you have plenty of fabric and then I did have to use quite a lot of hot glue to get that to stick down inside the pumpkin. And then I used another one of those um, stems from the dowel and I actually used some walnut colored stain for those. You could just use some paint mixed with water if you want an easier way to stain um, and it dries much faster and you don't have any of that smell or anything but I, like I said I could not find my brown paint so I just went ahead and used some stain but I do really like the color of the stain honestly a lot better than it would have come out with the paint. I think it looks really pretty on the wood. It's just um, a little bit more work and a little more messy. So like I said, I had to use a lot of hot glue, um, but once I got everything put together, I think it looked really cute and I just used some more of those leaves that I had on hand and this one is a favorite of mine as well. Moving on to DIY number three, I'm using some more of that scrap wood from my dad and I just went ahead and used some more white Waverly chalk paint on this one. I wanted a little more of a whitewash look. I didn't want it too opaque so I just used one coat and I wanted the edges to have a little less paint so what I do is I just start by painting from the middle because that's when you have the most paint on your brush when you first start obviously so I start out in the middle and then just to do strokes toward the edges that way I have a little less paint on the edges and I did go ahead and use some more of that Maui sand paint on this one just to distress the edges a little bit and I had three pumpkins from Dollar Tree from last year that I decided to paint up. I actually have quite a few 
um, pumpkins and things from Dollar Tree from last year. I've barely gotten any of their new stuff this year, just trying to use up what I have on hand, and I still have a lot from last year. So I actually left the stems in while I was painting these pumpkins just as something to hold on to so my hands wouldn't get so messy. And then I had to do two coats on these pumpkins just to cover up those bright colors. You could actually kind of see through still a tiny bit on some of the darker ones. But I just did two coats and then decided to distress a little bit, especially towards um, the lines on the pumpkins and towards the top. Um, and that covered up any color that was peeking through. Just used that same Maui sand um, chalk paint. And uh, I also, once the pumpkins were dry, I did go ahead and pull out the stems. And I just painted those with the Maui sand gray paint as well. And then once they were all dry, I just popped those stems right back in. And I just used a little bit of lamb's ear to kind of accessorize. <laughs> That's not the word. But I just added a little bit on there. It's just $2 from Walmart. So pretty. I love lamb's ear. I use it for everything now. Um, and then I also had some wood slices that I got from Amazon and I had stained those to use in our wedding and we ended up not using them. Well, we're not married yet, but we're not going to use them. Um, due to COVID, our wedding is a lot smaller than we had originally planned. So I actually have a lot of things that I'm using for other random projects. So you're probably going to hear me saying that quite a bit. <laughs> Um, but I just had some little wood slices. If I can find them on Amazon again, I will link them in the description just in case you did want to find some like them. But I use that same walnut stain on those and I just put three on top of my uh, little base and set the pumpkins on top of that and I think it came out really cute. to write thankful on my base just to make it look a little bit more like it's for fall and can even go into Thanksgiving and all of that. Um, and you guys know that I usually use paint for my words, whether it be a Cricut stencil with the contact paper, or you could even use a regular stencil like I used to do all the time before Zach got me the Cricut, and, or even like a transfer from a printed word or something there's so many ways to do it without a Cricut um, but I actually use some vinyl for this one because I have extra on hand from the wedding stuff again but I will try to link it in the description if I can find it too it's removable vinyl which is something I really like about it because I got it specifically for the wedding decor that I'm going to be doing so that after I'm done I can remove the vinyl and reuse the pieces of wood or whatever I was doing. Um, that way if it was something really specific to our wedding that we're never going to be able to use again, um, say like a sign for food or something like that <laughs> you don't really want sitting around your house, um, I could just go ahead and remove the vinyl and remake something with that instead of having to waste it. And so I'm just using that vinyl on here. I really like how it looks. It's so nice and crisp. I think it's so pretty against the white. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and leave that linked in the description. It is these squares, which I really like because they don't roll up on you or anything when you're cutting. Um, and I will also leave the SVG file linked if you like um, the way this word looks so that you can use it too in a project of your own if you'd like.
Now I didn't glue anything down on here because I want to be able to change it out later and of course it's scattered all around my house already because I have a two year old. <laughs> Wait till the end if you want to see a little video of her running outside in the yard with her little fairy wings on that she got from her uncle and aunt for her birthday. <laughs> so cute. But yeah, I just decided to leave it the way it was without gluing anything down um, and it sits just fine as long as you don't have little kids tearing it apart. As always, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like these. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. I do lots of giveaways, so you'd never want to miss out on one of those. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! You gonna run, run? I'll go run, run. Go ahead. Run, run. Run, run. <laughs> You're so fast. Run, run. You're run, running? Yeah. Look at you go.